Hello, this is Dr. Biba Singh, and welcome back to my show, The Rhythm of Healing. Asi as show de utte bahut sare topics de bare gal karde ha. The music uh, about music, the mind, medicine, and beyond. So, I just see a very important topic that we are going to talk about. But because this show always involves music, and you know I sing, I'm going to sing you guys a line, and then you will understand what this topic is about. So, Zindagi me koi kabi aaye na rabba. आए तो ना फिर कभी जाए रब्बा देने अगर मुझे बाद में आंसू तो पहले कोई हंसाए ना रब्बा तुसी सोच रहे होगे कि मैं इतना सैड गाना क्यों गा रही हूं बट ए टॉपिक ही सैड है और लेकिन जरूरी भी है गल करना so we are going to be talking about domestic violence and abuse today. Um, and mere kol aaj do bahuti achhe important guests ne. Uh, I have today Mrs. Richika Hira, who is an attorney at law for marriage and family law, and I also have Mrs. Navneet Bhalla, who is the executive director of Manvi. And both of my special guests are very, very intelligent and amazing women who have done some great work. Um, so without taking away from them, I would like each of them to give a little bit about who they are. So um, Richika, you want to tell our audience a little bit about what you do and who you are? Hi everyone, thank you Biba for having me on this show. Um, you're correct, this is a very important topic, especially in our South Asian community. Mm -hmm. So it's something that I'm glad that I'm here and I can yes. talk to you about and along with Navneet. Um, I am an attorney. I practice at the Damiano Law Offices in Little Falls, New Jersey, and I focus um, primarily on uh, matrimonial, um, essentially divorce litigation and domestic violence cases. Um, I, you know, I went through law school, I had a lot of different experiences and ultimately after doing work with Manvi um, and through certain other experience, I realized that this is the area of law that I wanted to specialize in. That's awesome. And I've been doing that for over 10 years now. We're so happy you're on the show today. Thank you, Biba. And Beba. we also have Mrs. Navneet Bala, who is the executive director of Manvi, but what is also very special is she also has been a practicing attorney in the UK. So uh, Navneet, to see please, Sanu or Sade audience, no thoda dasso ke to see ki kar deyo or Manvi vi ki hai. So dono chiza baare to see thodi sanu dasso. Sure. Um, so Srikal, and thank you so much, Biba, for having me today, and thank you to everyone joining the show today. So as Biba mentioned, domestic violence is a very, very important topic, and I'm so thankful that we are this topic. So I used to practice um, as a human rights attorney in the UK. I practiced immigration law and employment law, and also did human rights work um, for a number of years in England. So I come from that background. And then when I moved to the US around over 15 years ago now, I worked with various nonprofits. So I worked with the International Rescue Committee because I've always been interested and, and passionate about human rights work. So I work with IRC, which is International Rescue Committee, and, and traveled to Sudan for a little while to work there. And then I also worked for a national nonprofit called South Asian Americans Leading Together. Um, and they do a lot of immigration reform and policy work for the South Asian community. So that's been the background. And then that led me to wanting to do more local nonprofit work right here in New Jersey, where I am right now. And I have been working with Manavi as an executive director, um, which Manavi is a South Asian domestic violence agency right here in New Jersey. And, and I think it's really critical to point out that one of the reasons why I've been engaged and involved in this work is because I look at domestic violence through the lens of human rights 
work and, and look at it as a violation of human rights. Isi karke ye bhot zaruri hai ke CA bhi dekhiye ke domestic violence sadi human rights abuse di tarah hai, to di violation hai ki is karke bhot zaruri hai ke si oh us baare bhi gal kariye. Thank you so much, uh, Navneet. Sade audience vaste uh, eh bhot zaruri hai kyunki bhot log aaj dekh rahe ne aur main uh, जो कोई कहता है कि डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस या अब्यूज मेरे दिमाग में और बहुत लोगों के दिमाग चाहे आंदा है कि अगर तू तो मार रहा है तू तो थप्पड़ दे रहा है तोड़े कोई जख्म है या तोड़े कोई काला नील पै गया तो तू अब्यूज कोई कर रहा है लेकिन अब्यूज के बहुत तरह के फॉर्म्स होंगे ने सो रिचिका एंड नवनीत तुम दोनों सू प्लीज दसो कि अब्यूज की होंगे है किस तरह के अलग अलग टाइप्स ऑफ अब्यूज होंगे ने Sure, and I want to just mention a little bit about Manvi as an organization, yes, and please. then we can also just so everyone has context about what the organization does. So, Manvi is a South Asian domestic violence agency, and we are the very first South Asian women's rights organization founded in the United States of America in 1985. Wow! So for the last 35 years. Manvi has been on the front lines and they've been you know there've been many women and staunch advocates who came way before I was here and they were the founders and they laid the groundwork for us to be able to do the work and move forward with the women's rights movement um although we've come a long way we still have a long way to go so we provide um a range of services and um, we we can discuss that later so just to answer your question on the types of abuse yes domestic violence comes in various forms and you're right bade log eh sochde hain ki domestic violence sirf physical hundi hai ki agar tonu koi mare ya tonu kuch nazar aaye ke tonu koi injury hui ya chot lagi hai ke physical violence is domestic violence mm-hmm. but that's not the case domestic violence does indeed come in various forms including emotional abuse verbal abuse psychological abuse financial abuse mm-hmm. um elder abuse child abuse mm-hmm. sexual abuse e e da matlab e hai ke jis tarah sirf husband wife de vich abuse nahi hundi koi bhi domestic relationship jithe tonu lage ke jo abuser hai ga o victim de upar power and control exercise kar rahe hain meaning if an abuser is exercising power and control over a victim over a period of time and there is a pattern of behavior where the victim is unable to exercise any decision making over their everyday life mm-hmm. then that's that's abuse and over time the power power and control is escalated so financial abuse could be ki tusi apne paise aand control nahi kar sakde jis relationship vich tusi hage ho कोई होर भावें थोड़े हसबेंड हो खुद भी अब बॉयफ्रेंड खुद भी एन एल्डरली और यंग परसन वो थोड़े फाइनैशियल पैसे सब कुछ कंट्रोल कर रहे हैं सैक्शुअल अब्यूज खुद भी वेर तुम कोई भी इफ दर्ज एन अनवॉन्टेड of a sexual nature mm-hmm. then that is something that's also abuse where you haven't given consent elderly jis tarah ho sakta hai ki koi bhi tusi tori family which could be parents ke tusi parents jo hai gain ya grandparents hai gain oh abuse face kar rahe hain te ohna nu tang kita ja rahe hai ya bachiyan nu bhi tang kita ja rahe hai oh bhi abuse ho sakti hai so there are different forms of abuse and you're right it's not always just physical it can it can come in many forms so uh, basically matlab sade audience nu eh assi dasna chahne ha ke agar tonu is tarah da abuse ho reha hai agar tusi matlab elder koi tode buzurg abuse ho rahe ne ya tusi khud abuse seh rahe ho koi relationship vich rishte ch boyfriend nal husband nal kisi nal vi ya tusi bachche nu dekh rahe ho abuse hunde ha te ede vaste help hagi hai सो so, एक तो नवनीत ने दसिया सू मानवी ऑर्गनाइजेशन है जी हैल्प करती है सिचुएशन लेकिन बहुत लोग यह डरते हैं कि असी अगर हैल्प लैन जावे तो कोई सू ट्रस्ट करेगा या कि मतलब तो लीगली uh, मैं थोड़ा जहा रुचिका पूछना चाहवागी कि क्योंकि वो मैरिज और फैमिली और डिवोर्स लॉ में स्पैशलाइज करते हैं कि मतलब कि उन्होंने इस चीज़ बारे डरना चाहिए उन उन्होंने वास्ते हैल्प है लीगली और किस तरह मतलब हैल्प लैन लोग अगर वाकई उन्होंने यह प्रॉब्लम आ रही है 
So Biba, that, that's the thing. There always are resources available. And um, the first thing that I want to point on and just kind of piggyback off mm -hmm. what Navneet was saying yes. is that um, what is considered um, abuse to one person may not necessarily mm -hmm. be considered abuse that's to so another important. person. Mm -hmm. So the way one reacts to a certain situation is different. Um, and I'll just give you an example. If you have two individuals mm -hmm. and one is basically grown up in a household where maybe cursing is um, acceptable, mm -hmm. but then the other person grew up in a house which um, you know, no vulgar language was used. Mm -hmm. Now all of a sudden both peoples are in a situation, mm -hmm. um, in a relationship, and they're faced with perhaps a spouse or a significant other mm -hmm. who is cursing at them on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Person A, who grew up in a household mm -hmm. um, dealing with cursing, may not react the same way. Mm -hmm. To them, it may not really be emotional abuse or a form of, mm -hmm. you know, again, this is a vulgar, um, aggressive mm -hmm. uh, relationship. Whereas person B, the same, like, vulgarity or gali may impact them emotionally in a different way. So I just want the audience and everybody to know that what one person may be considered, you know, uh, this is abuse, mm -hmm. to somebody may else it may be something different um, and they may feel a different reaction um, to it. So with that said, every situation is mm -hmm. different. So if you're going through something and you feel that it's not okay, it's not acceptable, there's no right or wrong. Um, and that you should reach out and speak to somebody regarding mm -hmm. it. So if you have a little doubt that what's happening is not true for me, I don't feel good for me, then do you have to do it? Do you have to go ahead and say, it's not that you have to divorce yourself. But you can talk to somebody, right? Is that what you mean? And that is my point. That again, there's organizations out there like Manvi, Saki, and that's those are our local organizations. Uh -huh. But there are organizations all over the um, United States and right. other countries. And maybe that's just like step one to reach out to somebody mm -hmm. to talk to to mm -hmm. get an idea of you know this is what I'm experiencing and mm -hmm. this is how it's making me feel. And from a le legal perspective, um, again in the state of New Jersey and also in other states mm -hmm. you can get a restraining order um, and things of that nature but again it's going to depend on your particular situation because again going back to what you were saying mm -hmm. just because somebody hits you that's not the only type of mm -hmm. abuse sometimes um, emotional abuse verbal mm -hmm. abuse psychological abuse um, that has a more um, impact um, that mm -hmm. is sometimes even worse than physical wow. abuse. Wow and you you know this topic is really important and tanu sabnu pata hai ki main ek doctor hu ek psychiatrist so main vi kafi patients dekhe ya dekhdi ha jo as cheez to guzar rahe hain and what i wanted to ask you before i get into that is you mentioned ke help hai navneet ne vi sanu dasya ke manvi organization mostly new jersey which based hai lekin new york or sade viewers sari duniya vich hai gaye California, which we know, pure America, which Europe, which India, which Australia, which so agar matlab kisi ne simply koi labna chanda hai help, the wo ki kare Google kare ya koi manvi nu agar koi phone kare navneet the agar wo koi hor area which ne manvi agge das sak dene ke kithe reach karna hai unano. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, the one thing that's really important is ke manvi jo hai gaye, we have very strong relationships. Um, with our sister agencies. So uh, there are many, many fantastic uh, domestic violence agencies and South Asian women's rights organizations throughout the country, but also abroad in other countries. So in, in uh, America, for example, we have a very strong collaboration with the South Asian women's rights organization. So it's hegi and just around Sakhi hegi, Raksha, Adhikar, uh, they are but um, organizations again up now her we have a so coffee sorry organizations it they again the SE but it could take on Kernia because I'm a big believer in collaboration mm -hmm. I think as South Asian women and South Asian women's rights organizations it's so important get a secret hey is movement no a give a no one Fine. agency no one entity can make a difference a both the rudy kasi sare kate 
ایک کام کریے بیکاز دس امپیکٹی ایز اے ہول ناٹ اونلی نیو جرسی اور نیشنلی بٹ اٹس اے گلوبل and Navneet Bhalla, who is the executive director of Manvi, uh, an organization jo, uh, abuse which people help us. And Navneet Ji, we are talking about Manvi, and how do we need help? And what can we do? And what can we help? So, uh, Navneet Ji, you are talking about Manvi, that all over the world, basically in California, in India, in the UK, I mean, uh, Australia, there's abuse everywhere in the world. So Manvi can help connect you also. So to see, please, Sanu, uh, so. break the pala to see that's receipt. I guess I know or the so please. Hanji, Bilkul. So Manvi, buddy, sorry, services provide kar de si Manvi ish. So we provide culturally specific and linguistically appropriate services like counseling, advocacy, لنگوسٹکلی اپروپریٹ کا مطلب یہ ہے کہ بیسکلی کہ اسی پوری کوشش کرنے ہیں کہ جو ساری ساری سروسز ہے گیان وہ ڈفرینٹ طرح دی ساؤتھ ایشین لینگویجز وچ اسی ڈلیور کرنے ہیں اینڈ آلسو دیٹ وی آر اویئر آف دا کلچرلی اسپیسیفک ڈائنامکس آف دا ساؤتھ ایشین کمیونٹی سو اسی وی آلسو پرووائڈ لیگل کلینکس ویئر وی کنیکٹ with uh, pro bono attorneys and that's where we are so thankful that uh, Ruchika Hira has been a huge supporter and provided services to us for for a long time so i call i see support groups we provide karnia um survivors was they jithe o ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਆਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਬਾਕੀ ਸਰਵਾਈਵਰਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਾਉਂਸਲਿੰਗ ਤੇ ਆਨ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਾਈਡ ਕਰਨੇ ਆ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਇੱਕ ਬੜੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਸਰਵਿਸ ਜੋ ਸਾਡੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਏ ਉਹ ਹੈਗੀ ਏ ਆਸ਼ੀਆਨਾ which is a transitional home in new jersey and it was founded in 1997 ਤੇ ਆਸ਼ੀਆਨਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਔਰਤਾਂ ਤੇ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਉਥੇ ਅਕੋਮੋਡੇਟ ਕਰਨੇ ਆ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਕੋਲ ਕੋਈ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗੀ ਜਾਣ ਵਾਸਤੇ so if they have nowhere to go then manavi makes sure that we accommodate them in this transitional home long term it could be anything from a few months up to a year and a half or so and we provide all services we provide groceries we basically provide economic empowerment ki puri koshish karni hai ki unhon ko puri support mile they as we also have a 24 hour hotline wow. which is very important uh, and the number is 732 435 to see kisi bhi time sanu phone kar sakde ho um 24 hours saturday sunday kisi bhi time te as toadi puri madad kar sakne ha and we can also connect you with other agencies uh, in different countries and we also work with survivors in india pakistan and in other countries as well so we provide that support wow that's really amazing and richika matlab uh, you also see some of the people who are come through manvi to you and what is uh, what are some barriers like lo kyon nahi agge help vaste ek cheez main puchna chahni ha ki log jadon unna nu abuse suffer kar rahe ne te kadi kadi dimag ch eh gal aandi hai ke yaar main divorce nahi karna ya main ekdam اپنا مطلب ختم نہیں کرنا سب کچھ سو ڈردے نے کہ اگر میں لائر نال گل بھی کراں گی یا کراں گا تے اگے گل وات جائے گی بٹ اٹس امپورٹنٹ فار پیپل ٹو نو کہ ضروری نہیں ہے کہ تڑا ایک دم ہی اگے تسی سب کچھ بہت سیریس لیول تے لے کے جانا ہے سو ٹیل اس ا لٹل بٹ اباؤٹ دیٹ لائک از اٹ سکیری ٹو گو ٹو ا ڈیورس لائر پیپل ار سکیئرڈ وین دے ہیئر ڈیورس لائر اف کورس وائی از اٹ امپورٹنٹ ام So it's important to just reach out to an attorney uh, because what I basically tell my clients is that part of my job is to advocate for you. Mm-hmm. But the other part of my job is to educate you mm-hmm. and guide you as to what your rights are. Mm-hmm. So when you're going through a situation um, of a 
a, let's just say, a domestic violence mm -hmm. is issue, um, it doesn't mean that you have to get a divorce. Mm -hmm. But at the very least, if you reach out to an attorney, whether it be me or somebody mm -hmm. else who practices family law, they can educate you on what your rights are. So you understand that if you take this step, this is what the process is going to be. And if you don't take this step, mm -hmm. these are your other alternatives. And there are other alternatives. So I have a perfect uh, example if sure. a patient medical i or uno definitely oh, abuse this situation which see they only lekin kadi naukri apni zindagi ch kiti hi nahi i think 10 saal de vyah te unne naukri nahi kiti ode bacche si chote chote aur mainu kehndi si ke main bahut depressed ha mainu matlab neend nahi aundi mainu kabrat hundi hai lekin main te divorce kar hi nahi sakti main te kadi aaj tak job nahi kiti main kadi paise nahi kamaye mere bacche kithe jaange assi ki karange so main unu aise samjhaya si ke tusi ਪਾਵੇਂ ਡਿਵੋਰਸ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਵੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਜਾਂ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੈ ਬਟ ਐਟ ਲੀਸਟ ਲਾਇਰ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਕੇ ਸਮਝੋ ਕਿ ਲਾਈਕ ਸਮਝੋ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਆਪਸ਼ਨਸ ਕੀ ਨੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਮਤਲਬ ਪੈਸੇ ਮਿਲ ਸਕਦੇ ਨੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਿਲ ਸਕਦੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਰਾਈਟਸ ਕੀ ਨੇ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਰਿਚਕਾ ਵਾਟ ਯੂ ਜਸਟ ਸੈਡ ਇਜ਼ ਵੈਰੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਕਿ ਪੀਪਲ ਹੈਵ ਦ ਰਾਈਟ ਟੂ ਐਟ ਲੀਸਟ ਨੋ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਸਮਝ ਆਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਸ ਸਿਚੁਏਸ਼ਨ ਚ ਹੈਗੇ ਹੋ that's right biba so if somebody comes i mean and that's exactly the point that you'll be guided that you are entitled to financial support mm -hmm. even if you have never worked um, mm -hmm. and you're financially dependent on your spouse mm -hmm. and you have concerns how are you going to take care of your children mm -hmm. um, through the process whether it be through a restraining order um, or through a divorce process mm -hmm. you have the right to so, financial what support options hege ne help us they matlab ekdam hai nahi hai ki tusi sochde ho ki hai main ekdam hi you know break kar dena you have so many different options and for kids also right and people we navigate the the situation depending on what that individual specific circumstances are right so again taking mm -hmm. into many cultural barriers um societal mm -hmm. norms um we take that all into consideration mm -hmm. when we reach out and basically help this person navigate through their mm -hmm. situation mm -hmm. and again you don't always have to get a divorce you don't always have to get a restraining order if you reach out to an attorney we can guide you there are other ways mm -hmm. to um get the help that you need mm -hmm. navneet to see kuch kehne lage si to see we uh no i was just saying i was just about to say that we had that exact same situation where i was just going to give a quick example ke so people relate to real life stories Auntie. that we had somebody and we've had many uh, women in this situation but one in particular stands out ke o but chote chote bachiyan de naal uh they came to us she came to us kalle sige ona kol job nahi si ona kol paise nahi sige immigration status nahi si they she was totally dependent on her husband she was alone koi family bhi nahi si te oh eh keh rahe san ki main jaawangi te kithe jaawangi te meri madad kon karega mere kol paise nahi hai ke apne pairan te main nahi khadi ho sakdi so just to say that we worked with her and supported her and she stayed in ashiana and we worked for a period of a year and a half and today i am so proud and and thankful to say that that survivor is now a successful entrepreneur wow she's a successful businesswoman she has put her children through one of them uh, through a school and the other one through college and she owns a house wow so just to let people know ke and this is years and years ago that that you know she came to us but right. there have been many survivors like that in that situation ke agar koi hone sun rahe hai te soch rahe hai ki meri situation isi tarah di hai ki i want to give you hope and i want to let you know that there is light at the end of the tunnel to si kalle nahi hai ge assi tode naal ha te tusi kadi is tarah na socho ki ghabrao ki todi madad karan vaste koi nahi hai ga so these are the kind of cases and she is an independent strong woman she actually hires other people wow um, so just to give an example of where she started and where she is today and this is an example of how uh, manavi empowers survivors and how mm -hmm. she empowered herself that navneet is such an amazing story and mainu mera te dil karda hai bahut sari gallan kariye and assi es karke ek es show da part 2 kar rahe ha aur assi part 2 tode vaste agle hafte leke aa rahe ha mere naal aur ruchika hira aur navneet bhalla naal because ਹੋਰ ਬਹੁਤ ਕੁਝ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਵੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਅੱਜ ਜੁਆਇਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਅਗਲੇ ਹਫਤੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਫਿਰ ਆਣਾ ਐਸ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਹੋਰ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਸੀ ਯੂ ਵਿਦ ਰਿਦਮ ਆਫ ਹੀਲਿੰਗ 
And again, please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, uh, Biba Singh, Just Punjabi, Ruchika Hira, Navneet Bala, Manavi, all keywords. So the show that you will get information that you can see and follow us. So thank you. Thank you.